Hi, I'm going to show you how to make the AT&T creature, but another one. It's the blue one that has a big mouth. It's going to look like this. Okay, so what you want to do is get a ball of this aquaish clay, and then um, get a little bit of this dark blue clay. But just save the blue clay for a little bit later, okay? Okay. First what you want to do is roll the ball. Then, after that, you want to cut with any tool and make these short, stubby little legs and press against a hard surface, like this. Once you've done that, um, get a tool such as this, this, or as I'm probably going to use, the big one. Um, just make a hole, and try not to get the back side flat because it's supposed to be a round, chubby little guy. Okay. So, here's your hole, and um, try to make the back a little bit round if you got it a little flat. Okay, now we're going to take out the blue, and just get about a little bit of it. Let's say about this big, or at least, at least this big. But it depends, it varies. Okay, smush it up and um, until it's soft and you can use a pasta machine too might be easy but don't get it too thin put it on setting four or five and then um smush it And then put it in the hole. And then do this again. Here. Try to fit it in the hole as best as possible because it's, it might, you know, come out a little. Okay. After that, we're almost done. Um, get a small ball, or a small tool, poke two holes on the top of the head, and then um, once you've poked that hole. Okay, once you've poked the hole, insert a little bit of black for the eyes. Okay, once you've filled both eyes, then um, you're probably going to have a little bit of mistakes like I do right now, so I'll try to fix those. Okay. 
Okay, now we're going to do the arms. The arms is like one of the things that makes it pretty cute. Okay, so get a little bit more of that aqua clay. Just wait a sec. Okay, um, here. Cut it in half. I mean, first roll it and then cut it in half. Okay. Then roll a little point to, um, to make this like teardrop shape. Yeah. And connect it to the body, like around the middle. And get one of your tools that can sort of, you can just sort of connect it like this. And then it looks like it's part of it. Then do the other arm. And then once you're done with that, remember that tool I made to make all those little holes? Or those little holes for the eyes? Well, you're going to use that again, except don't poke holes. Um, just sort of poke gently. And, um... And, and it'll sort of make it look fuzzy. I mean, it's not going to be fuzzy, of course, but it gives it a little bit of texture. So, with this tool, keep on... Here, let me just... Gently, though. Don't do it too hard, nor too soft. And then you keep on doing that until the whole body is full of that. And you'll get this cute little fuzzy and textured little guy. It's pretty similar. Might be a little bit taller. This one's the original one. This one's the one that we just made. Okay, thank you for watching and, um...